let's run the circuit and see what happens here uh, these two inputs are 0 and 0 right so that's why uh, this line is activated line first is activated and for 0 1 this second line is activated and you can see this going high and for 1 0 let's see for 1 0 the third line is activated and for 1 1 this fourth line is activated right mm, a decoder is a similar circuit to a demultiplexer with an exception that a decoder does not have a data input uh, just as we saw earlier a demultiplexer circuit has a data input line and here uh, there is no data input line right mm. so here in a decoder there are n bit input lines and 2 to the power n bit output lines so for n is equal to 2 uh, we will get 2 to the power n that means 2 to the power 2 or 4 output lines right so and one of the line is activated at a time uh, based on these inputs so uh, let's see another decoder circuit and that's 3 to 8 line decoder that means we have 3 inputs here and mm, 8 outputs right uh, let me zoom it so here you can see the circuit diagram of a 3 to 8 line decoder uh, here uh, there are n inputs n is equal to 3 and 2 to the power n outputs that means 2 cube or uh, 8 outputs right so uh, let's run the circuit and see what happens here you can see uh, for the input combination 0 0 0 this first line is activated right here you can see the output line going high uh, in the first line and for 0 0 1 the second line will activate and for 0 1 0 the third line will activate and for 0 1 1 it goes to fourth and for 1 0 0 it goes to fifth and for 1 0 1 goes to sixth for 1 1 0 seventh and for 1 1 1 it goes to the last output line mm. so this is mm, a 3 to 8 line decoder with 3 inputs and 8 outputs mm. and one of the outputs will be activated at a time based on these three inputs uh, so that's it um, I'll be back soon with another circuit till then bye